Trump supporters are eagerly awaiting their candidate's speech at a rally in Wilmington, North Carolina this afternoon. It's kind of surprising that it's a swing state to me. Um, I feel like most supporters around here are for Trump. Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson would usually be by the former president's side, but not today after CNN reported he made a series of anti-Semitic and sexual comments on at least one pornography website, calling himself a black Nazi. He denies the allegations. Those are not the words of Mark Robinson. You know my words, you know my character, and you know that I have been completely transparent in this race and before. As Robinson vows to stay in the gubernatorial race, the Trump campaign is distancing itself from him, with the state's 16 electoral votes at risk. Some backing the Republican presidential candidates say they're not concerned. Are these allegations true against this person, or are they not true? If they're not true, Trump will continually endorse them. If they are true, he will probably separate himself in some, some way, shape, or form. His Democratic challenger, Vice President Kamala Harris, is taking a break today after a rally last night in Madison, Wisconsin, her fourth visit to the state since launching her campaign. She focused on abortion. Now in more than 20 states, we have Trump abortion bans, many with no exceptions even for rape and incest. It is immoral. Tomorrow, Harris will attend a fundraiser in New York. Trump will spend the day at his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida. Wendy Gillette, CBS News.